just now you mentioned uh, feudal and peasant society. Mm -hmm. um, did you mean uh, feudal and peasant societies uh, are the same thing? Um, feudal and peasant societies are different things. Um, although many of these people who believed in the revolution mixed them together, um, the essence of, few, uh, of uh, peasantry, as I defined it, I mean, most historians used peasant in a rather loose way, meaning people who live in the countryside and who practice agriculture. Um, but technically, one of the reasons anthropology influenced me was that I read the work of Eric Wolf and um, Theodore Charnin and um, other people who had worked on peasants, real peasants, and they and Raymond Firth and others had come up with this idea that peasantry is not merely the kind of job you do, whether you're a farmer or not, working with it, but it is a kind of social organization. And its central feature is that you haven't separated out the family from the farm. The unit of production and consumption is the, the household. As in China. As in China. So China is a peasant society, Japan not so much so, India is a peasant society, Mexico a peasant society, Italy a peasant society, because the people who work together are the family. And you can't separate, you can't say this is the economic side of things, this is the social side of things. That's the quintessence of peasantry. That's why you can talk about China as peasant and India as peasant. Now it was assumed that the English were like this. They ran it uh, on the basis of family, labor, and so on. But what, in fact, the documents show, and what others had begun to show, was that, in fact, it wasn't like this. Money, the market, had penetrated so much that people bought and sold farms. They hired labor. Their children left home quite young, worked on other people's farms for money. So it was a monetized, market-based, society, not a familistic, family-based society. The same piece of land would go, as our studies showed, from house, from family to family. And it would often, in a hundred years, it would often go through three or four or five different families. So the family was not tied to the land, and nor was the unit, basic unit of production, the family. Jocelyn himself, he and his wife worked on the farm, but their sons didn't go and work on that farm for Jocelyn. They went elsewhere. So basically, it wasn't a peasant society. So that was the peasant bit. The feudal side is different. You can be a feudal society, as England was, but not a peasant society.